If you're thinking of buying or building a barn owl nest box, you soon start to realise there are lots of different designs. These three on the table were built here at the Barn Owl Trust and we know they're really, really good for barn owls, but sadly a lot of the boxes you might see are actually not very good. The three most important things that barn owl nest boxes need to be are, number one, they need to be big, number two, they need to be deep, and number three, if they're outdoor boxes, they need to be dry. Young barn owls don't actually leave the nest until long after they're fully grown. And they're quite big birds, and there can be three or four or even five of them in a nest box. They do a lot of wing flapping exercises, so they need quite a big physical space. Nestling barn owls can walk around from just 18 days old, but they can't start to fly until they're 56 days old. So there's a 38 day period roughly when they're in real danger. If they can walk around in the bottom of the box and if they can walk straight out of the entrance hole, they can easily fall and die. Young barn owls that fall from the nest usually die. They're either taken by a predator or they die from starvation as they're ignored generally by the adults. You can help to prevent those deaths by choosing a nest box that is deep. The minimum depth you need from the bottom of the entrance hole to the bottom of the box is 450 millimetres. This depth means that the young can't get out until they're 45 days old. So if you've straight away reduced the danger period from 38 days to about nine days. If you want to reduce that danger altogether, you need a box that's about 700 millimetres deep. This nest cam footage shows an owlet getting out of a deep nest box for the first time. It's 56 days old and almost ready to fly. Here's a box that's nice and deep, but an owlet still fell and died. Here's why. This nest box is nice and big, but it's got virtually no depth. At even three or four weeks old, an owlet can stand here in the entrance hole and easily topple out, especially if another young one comes up behind it. And an owl that topples out at that age is almost certain to die. You can prevent these deaths by making sure your box is deep, but also having an exercise platform. This is not a platform for the adults when they come in. They don't need that. This is for the young to keep them safe. So when a young one comes up into the hole, if another one comes up behind, it can stand on the tray, stand to one side. When the young are standing in a row waiting for food to come in, they can grip the edge of the tray. That's a fantastic safety feature. So the combination of the depth and the exercise platform means these boxes are much, much safer. This nest box is designed to go inside a dry building. It wouldn't be suitable for outside because the contents would get wet. That's crucial. These two boxes are designed specifically to keep the contents dry, even in heavy rain, and that's crucial. If the eggs get chilled or the young get chilled, they'll fail. And so here we've got an overhanging roof, and with the pole box, an overhanging roof, We've got fantastic depth in the exercise platform, but look, this is angled away. This one is slatted to let the rainwater out. Even the joints have weather seal applied to keep the interior dry. With this nest box designed for going on a massive pole, you can see straight away it's a lot bigger than the others, and there's a good reason for that. With a box in a building, there's usually a nice sheltered, dry environment with places for the young owls to perch. With a box in a tree, there's going to be tree branches, a canopy above providing some shelter. But with a pole box, it's stuck there in the open air with absolutely no shelter and it's got to provide a safe environment for the developing young. So, it's deeper. It's a full 620 millimetres deep. So by the time the young get out, they're virtually ready to fly. And when they take that crucial first flight and they're trying to, to land back on the box, you see the exercise platform goes all the way around the outside. So it's dead easy. They can land anywhere around the box and walk and get back into safety. If you're building in a space for barn owls in a building project, rather than using a pre-made box, and if you don't want to have an exercise platform on the outside, you need to achieve that 700 millimetres depth then the young actually won't be able to get out until they're able to fly and that'll keep them safe.
In many landscapes, hollow trees and old barns no longer exist. Barn owls are increasingly dependent on nest boxes. If you're going to go to the trouble of providing one, make sure you provide a really good one. You can find more information on the Barn Owl Trust website and if you'd like to make a donation to support this work, that would be wonderful.